What's happening YouTube? Here is Andrew Getty Barber. It's five o'clock in the morning. We're direct to uh, Naples from my flat in Milano. So uh, I start this journey and let's go. There is a bit of a road trip to get to Milano Central train station, but we got a lift. And this is a beautiful breakfast that we had in the train station right before we got our train, which is a very special train. Apparently this train reached 300 kilometers per hour. And there's a screen that tells you what's the average speed we're going at, which is pretty cool to me, especially with this kind of scenery. And here we are, we just arrived in Napoli Centrale. So we're here in the car for Acquola. So finally we're in the car, now we're gonna go to the L'Aquila Scissors office and we're gonna start seeing some scissors together, we're gonna start sharpening up, we, you know, we're gonna play around and see how the place is done, how the Amigetti 01 are done, so I'm really excited and uh, let's go together. Diego came and picked us up from the Napoli Centrale train station and drove us to his office and uh, here it is, is the outside and we're going down the stairs to the office slash storage of his scissors and there's uh, this beautiful entrance where um, Diego keeps all his scissors displayed in front of you now you're gonna be able to see from the camera right below here we are with all the scissors he's got you can come here and choose your own one then we move to the production area where they customize the scissors this is the room where they're gonna shoot the online academy for this website and uh, here we are here is uh, the storage where he keeps all the packaging and basically is where the final product comes out and this is a uv printer to print and customize every single piece and finally we started the, there's diego sharpening the miami getty 01 which were a little bit damaged from a bad fall that i gave and first he polished them on two stones one thinner than the other and in the end he passes the scissors on this uh, spinning machine which i don't know the name in english um, but um, he's basically sharpening the blade and then on the second piece he's polishing the blade on some rubber and that's it it's that simple when you're a pro and he definitely looks easy but it's not here Diego is just closing up and regulating my scissors before giving it back to me so I can have always a sharp scissors while I'm working on my clientele obviously it's important to have always sharp scissors and here it's me trying to sharpen up an old pair of scissors this is just a trial uh, he just wanted to make me try it out which it didn't go very well to be honest here's I'm um, just trying to clean up the blade before the actual sharpening and now we're gonna move on the spinning machine here we go and I actually ruined the blade at a certain point because I pushed too inward and guys I guarantee you it's not as easy as it seems as you can see that I went a little bit too in and uh, they were taking the piss of me but it's fine i polished it after and the game was done i mean the scissors was ready um, and then my dad wanted to have a little bit of fun too so they gave him a, a pair of scissors that were broken so he tried it out he had a much steadier hand than me i mean fair enough <laughs> He, he works with that machine at work as well and then here's the polishing part where basically it's just you can go as 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 hard as you want against the rubber because the rubber is just a polishing product and then we had the final business meeting in front of a beautiful pizza in naples and now just enjoy a couple of minutes of all the beauty i've seen in naples